These two types of questions often cause a lot of confusions, so I would like to make it clear for you. The first one is square root of parentheses with negative 4 inside and then square. And for the second one, we can see that the parentheses square is on the outside. But can we just cancel the square and square root for both of them? So both of them should just be equal to negative 4. No, that's not correct. Especially if you look at the first one and say that's equal to negative 4, this is not correct because we have to do the order of operation and that is we have to do this inside out so we worked out negative 4 squared which is negative 4 times negative 4 that will give us positive 16 and then we do the square root okay then square root of 16 well that's just equal to 4 and that's the only answer for that so that's it but if you look at the second one when we have the square root of a negative 4 this right here does not have any real value. If we have learned about the complex numbers, the imaginary units, then we can continue. So suppose we have that already. Then in that case, we can do the following. When we have the negative here, instead of the square root, that will turn into an i, which is the imaginary unit. And then we do the square root of 4, which is just a 2. And of course, we will have to write down the parentheses square. And then we continue, i squared, well by definition that's negative 1, so I'll just put a negative here, and then 2 squared is 4. So we see 2i in the parentheses squared gives us negative 4. So for this one, the answer is equal to negative 4, but for the first one, the answer is actually a positive 4. And that's a very important point right here, let me write it down for you guys. When we have a square root on the outside, and then if we have some number x, and then square, do not just cancel this and that and say the answer is equal to x. Because earlier we saw this number is negative 4, but the output is actually just positive 4. The output of the square root is always positive. So for this one, you can cancel, but you will have to attach an absolute value around the x. So that's the idea. And if you want to use this approach, then you can see that this right here is going to be here inside is negative 4. And then the square is inside of the square root. By using this, we can attach an absolute value. And you see, absolute value of negative 4 is equal to 4. So that is how you do it. But for this one, if the square is on the outside, if we have the imaginary number, then the answer is negative.